Um, I wanted to uh, show you this. Hey friends, it's Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. Today I want to step back a little bit about four months ago to when we told our family we were expecting baby Sprout. Before we jump into story time and sharing all the footage that I recorded about four months ago, let's go take a peek at what Chris is working on in the nursery and bedroom. Right now we are living in our guest room and it's just crazy because <laughs> because our master bedroom is actually turning into a combination master bedroom and nursery and we like moved walls, we're redoing the floors, we painted, it's, it's like total construction zone so it's not exactly livable right now so we're we're hanging out in the guest room which we're grateful to have but let's go see let's go see how things are going in there. Tired already. I'm just sweaty, more comfortable. So as you can see, this space is a construction zone. Lots of stuff to do, but it's painted. And there's a little preview of an accent wall that we're doing. And baby side of the room. So it's been a while since we told our family we were pregnant. Almost four months. I am about 25 weeks pregnant now, and we told our family back when I was seven, eight weeks pregnant. The crazy part is coronavirus, COVID-19, changed our plans entirely in so many ways, but they definitely affected our ability to tell people about our pregnancy. Most people we told virtually, so you'll get a sense of that in this video here. I will show you guys the bump in this video um, now that I'm 25 weeks. It's very, very clear. So I found out on March 2nd, I was three weeks and four days pregnant. So, oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. I, um, I hurt being so fast. I, I took a test and I see a line. So right after I recorded that video, I texted my friend a picture of the test and we kind of like had like a mini like celebration like that is a line and um, together and that was nice just to be able to tell somebody. I shared with you guys how I told Chris and I'll just put a little clip down here. What? Yeah, look. Are you serious? Yes. Feels so good to tell you. Mm. <laughs> it's for good to be told. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm. And I knew I wanted to share the news with my sister pretty early on, um, just because we're really close. She had just recently gone through pregnancy, and I knew she'd be a really great support system for me. Have there been any coronavirus cases in San Diego? Yeah, a couple. Um, I wanted to uh, show you this. <gasps> oh my gosh! Jenna, yeah. Baby. Hey, Chris. Jen's pregnant. What? Yes, yeah, give me a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I found out two days ago. I was told you yesterday. I know. I didn't tell you. Why? Because <laughs> I wanted to record it, and I and I I wanted to tell Chris first. I hadn't told him yet. I'm so happy. Yeah. I found out super early. I'm not even four weeks yet. You have a little cousin. <laughs> what do you think? And then there was kind of a long period before we told anybody else. My whole family is out in California and I had wanted to surprise my mom on her birthday. Um, which was April 9th. So I wanted to surprise her on her birthday with the news because we were going to have an ultrasound on April 9th. 
and I wanted to be able to show her the ultrasound picture. I got the news in early April that my first ultrasound was being pushed back three weeks, uh, which was pretty devastating at the time. I've shared about this in our first trimester update video. It meant that I wouldn't know that the baby was okay and there until I was closer to 12 weeks along. I just decided to kind of ditch my original plans out the window and just start telling family a little bit sooner. So instead of waiting for that eight week ultrasound, we decided let's just tell family now. The reason we did that was because when I was about seven weeks along, we were out of toilet paper. And if you guys remember April and March, toilet paper shortages were, it was a huge issue. We had no toilet paper. Um, I'm pregnant, so I'm having to pee more often. We're running through the, flying through the toilet paper. And my mother-in-law, who lives locally, scored a bunch of toilet paper in bulk at uh, Sam's Club. So she texted us and asked us, asked us if we needed any and was kind of was going to come out to the farm to give us some toilet paper. So she came over with the toilet paper and I was like, oh, we have something for you too. And I threw her a little onesie that I had bought. We got, got something for you too. <gasps> you can't do that to me! I can't help you! I, but wait, that's a tissue. <laughs> Well, just air hugs. <laughs> I know, we were going to tell you we on Easter. But I know, gonna we, we figured we weren't going to be able to see you guys for a long time yeah. in person now, so. But I'm almost seven weeks. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, I can't hug you guys. I'll get you both yeah. in the shot. And that was super fun, just to be able to tell somebody in person. I think she was like one of the only people we told in person. And she was so excited, <laughs> very excited. Chris's dad wasn't with her when she dropped off the toilet paper, so that same evening we called them on FaceTime and we told his dad the news so that she didn't have to keep it a secret. So we've got a question for you. All right. We're thinking about doing some changes, some renovations to our bedroom. I wanted to talk, I wanted to talk something over with you. Should I sw sw switch the camera? I think it'll be easier to show. Yeah, you can just switch the camera. Here, let's see. All right, so. I don't know if you can see that area at all, uh, <laughs> but does that look does that look like something familiar to you? Yeah, I mean, I knew mean, well, something was up, and everybody's getting their phones out. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> they like completely blew it. <laughs> well, that's awesome, you guys. That is so awesome. Yeah, we're very excited. So we're it's about seven weeks right now. Wow, good for you guys. Yeah. And then I believe a few days later, we jumped on FaceTime with uh, Chris's sister and her husband, as well as his parents, to surprise them with the news. Cabbage, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, and then I've got like a bunch of peppers in here. And then some little, little baby, little baby tomatoes. They're like super tiny. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> we also got this thing cooking right now too. As far as my family goes, they're all out in California like I mentioned. So I got my parents on FaceTime and I got my got my sister on and I told my parents. And I told them by showing my mom a pair of little white shoes. That's how my mom told her mom when they were first expecting their first baby. <laughs> hey Jen, how are you? I'm doing okay. We're hanging in there. Okay, too. I'm, I've convinced your dad to now only go to the store once a week. Jen, you can talk her. Siege, are you, Siege, are you ready for a cousin? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yes, what are yes. You're talking about? Oh, I have to get dad involved here. Oh, that's exciting. Wow. <laughs> 
Hey, Dad. I just. I, oh boy. I, I just told Sagey she's gonna be a cousin. Oh, that is exciting. And now she's crying about it. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh my gosh, I, I'm not gonna be the only one. Congratulations. Oh, Thanks. I was gonna tell you on your birthday after our ultrasound, but our ultrasound got pushed back three weeks because of the COVID. So oh. it's just just telling you earlier, but yeah. Yeah. So how far along? I'm seven weeks. Um, and then I told my brother. What was I gonna say? I, w I wanted to show you something real quick. Can you FaceTime for a minute? Um, can you see this? Oh, it's a baby thing. Yeah. It's, it's, for, it's for Sage, or? Not exactly. <laughs> oh, wow, really? <laughs> yeah. That was awesome, congrats. Thanks. So, you guys are so Follow each other so fast. Wow, so funny. The next person I wanted to tell was my grandma. So my grandma um, was on hospice at the time, although she has been taken off hospice since then. Um, and she is living in an independent living facility. She has a nurse who supports her. She is just like the light of any room, full of full of life. Uh, has been pretty sick for a while now. It was really important to me that I was able to tell her. So I was able to schedule a FaceTime with her um, using the help of my mom and the nurse. Well, Chris and I have something we wanted to tell you. <laughs> We're expecting a little baby. <laughs> yeah. I know, we're very excited. When? Uh, November, early November. Oh, wow. That's a must have a November baby. <laughs> and that was just, it was just a sweet moment to be able to share the news with her. I just wasn't sure if I ever would be able to share that we were expecting with my grandma. I wasn't sure if she'd be here for being able to share that news, but I'm happy to say that she's still, she's still here and she's doing well right now. I'm hoping when the baby comes, we can FaceTime her. That way she can meet little Sprout in November. So those are all the family announcements. I just remember being so excited to share the news with each and every person. So let's take a look at the bump and uh, yeah. As you can see, it's popping. Baby Sprout can't wait to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs>